How's it guys? Uh, today we're going to be talking about another one of the grunter species. So you guys might know the German grunter, cock grunter, uh, the olive grunter and of course the ever popular spotted grunter. This is now in the same genus. It's called the grey grunter or banded grunter. Guys that fish up in Zululand and that kind of area on the reefs will probably know the species. The guys low in the south coast might not. Now the grey grunter, scientific name Pomodaces furcatus. Now that's a obviously the same genus as your spotted grunter, but he's well, he's got similarities, but he's also got a lot of differences. Now I call it the blunter grunter because he's got this flat, flat face and a very steep head. He operates in exactly the same way as your grunter. He's got the mouth that protrudes out, obviously not as much as a spotted grunter with that long face, but that um, that blunt face. He still will work on the sand push air out, it's called a percular pumping, it's similar to how they breathe, basically forces his gill plates closed like that and he points his mouth and that forces a jet of air into the sand, blows everything out and then he'll go and pick up any of the prey and then grind them down and obviously swallow anything and spit out any of the sand or come out his gills at the bottom. So overall shape wise he's like a greyish uh, colour obviously where he gets his name Grey Grunter and then he's got about seven or eight bars that run, or stripes at least that run along the body like that. He's a stockiest fish, the fins themselves are generally almost translucency or a little bit of a duskyish colour to them and then he's got quite a large eye for for his actual size. They, distribution wise you get them from, from Durban all the way north. So Durban's sort of the real bottom end but more common in that Zululand kind of area. So the guys that fish Nyogis and things like that, uh, Dean and them will catch quite a few up that side. Um, yeah they, from our tagging results and things like that, that from catching them up on that side, they've seen that they're actually quite, uh, quite a resident species. Which, what we mean by that is that they're not, when you catch them year after year in the same spot, you're noticing either that they're moving and coming back or that they're actually just staying on that one patch of reef. They're not, that's their home now for the rest of their life. In terms of food and things like that, like we said, they blast the sand and then eat everything. So you're really looking at stuff that's living in the sand. So smaller bivalves, like your little sand mussels and things like that. Now we say bivalve, it just means it's got two uh, shells. By valve to shell. Valve is not a shell, but anyway. Um, so, like your mussels and things like that. Your worms and any of the crustaceans that they're going to find in the sand, little shrimps, um, any of your caridians and things like that, they're going to they're going to dig that up out of the sand. Now, what else we've got on them? In terms of catching wise and things like that, it's not a species that's easy to target. In essence, that it's normally a bycatch species, but if you're fishing for stuff like your cave bass and things like that, you do generally pick them up. So, size-wise, they, they normally about 30 centimeters and under, although they do get up to a recorded uh, 50 centimeters, which is an absolute giant of a grey grunter. They are edible. Um, they're generally too small to keep, so guys don't generally keep them, which is good, it means it keeps the population high. But if you were gonna keep a fish, this would probably be an okay one to keep in terms of what you're gonna take off the reef. I'd rather take that than a speckled snapper, put it that way. Your maximum age and things like that is unknown. There's not a lot of research done on them. And the max size is about a kilo that they've recorded. So it's not a very heavy fish, but there's not a lot of records on them. So a lot of the stuff is just anecdotal stuff from, from people telling you a story and things like that. But yeah, the grey grunter, he is an interesting species. Lightish tackle, gonna be fine or medium, not really much of a heavy fighter. Uh, but yeah, definitely one for the species list, a pretty species and one that you should catch. Cheers guys.